Welcome back to Mike's Man Cave and welcome back to another tool unboxing video. Now if you've clicked on this video you've obviously read the title and you know what it's all about. We're going to have a look at the top of the range Ego handheld blower kit. Now this is basically a commercial blower unit and for home use, unless you've got money to burn, I probably would not be buying this. I bought this for my business and I'm going to be using it pretty much daily at work. Which also means that the price of this is tax deductible to me. And I did get a really, really good deal on this. And as always, I'm going to put the prices up here because I don't memorize prices down to the cent when I film these videos. So I'll just put the price up here of what I'm talking about as we go through the video. So this is the Ego 1300 cubic meter blower. Now Ego claims that this is the most powerful handheld blower in the world bar none. So there's not a more powerful handheld blower than this one here. This cost me, I think it was $768 for the kit. Yes, you've probably just fallen off your chair backwards. $768 or thereabouts. The actual price I've paid is up on the screen now. So these definitely are not cheap. However, let's talk about this. This comes with a turbo battery charger and it comes with two 5 amp hour batteries. Now 5 amp hour batteries I believe are $370 or thereabouts. Again price is up on the screen. So we've got two of those batteries in this kit here and those batteries are well over $300 each. So we've got about six seven hundred dollars worth of batteries and I believe the charger on its own just to buy the charger is about a hundred and seventy dollars hundred and sixty dollars or something like that again prices up on the screen so therefore the actual blower is almost free I've just paid for the two batteries and the charger I bought this at Sydney Tools on their tradey night on Friday night or Friday after work and they had a hundred dollar cash back a hundred dollar store credit that you can use on any other product to buy in their store. So if I go back and buy another product, I'll get $100 off that product. So I've only really paid 600 and something dollars. Or, well, I'll be paying less on the next product that I buy. I did pay the full price on this. Hope that makes sense. So let's have a quick look at the box and see what that looks like. So that's the front of the box there. I'm just trying to get the reflections off everything so you can have a good look at it. Now these use 56 volt batteries. That's the back of the box there. Just so you can see it. There's the side of the box. Before we take it out of the box, let's have a look at this. This comes with two 5 amp hour batteries. It is variable speed up to 1300 cubic meters per hour I believe it is. It's got a brushless motor and it will run up to 300 minutes. It does come with a five year warranty on the tool and it does come with a three year warranty on the battery. And the part number is LB7654E. So let's get it out the box. I'm actually quite excited to get this out and try it out. That's what it looks like when you first open the box. That's the first part out of the box. There you go, it's got the 1300 cubic meters per hour written on the side. Now if it hasn't got that, it is not the top of the range unit. They also do blowers with 900 and probably less or more, I'm not 100% sure. I just wanted the best of the best in this case. And my last blower was the Ryobi blower. I did a long term review on that the other day and I can link that video down below for you if you're interested. There's a reduction nozzle there which just clips on like that. That's quite nice. It's very very nice how that goes on. I really like it. You've got a shoulder strap. I don't think I'll be using that. Um, I don't use shoulder straps. I'm, I'm fairly strong. I can hold it. 
and I'm not using it for hours on end. I'm just going to, yeah, just I just use it for clean up. So I probably won't be using that. It's got a fish tail nozzle, which I'm assuming is for sweeping leaves or sweeping driveways. And this might be really handy. I'll have to try out the different nozzles and see which one I like. So this should clip on the same. Yep, clips onto the blower pipe. It's got some instructions. It's got the turbocharger, which is an absolute monster of a thing. Have a look at the size of that. It is huge. But these batteries are huge as well. These are big, powerful batteries. These are commercial grade tools. So these batteries are monsters. I mean, have a look at that for charger. So that's the unit there. Really nice Ego logo there. This feels like really, really nice. This feels like a quality item. I know it was expensive, but it does not feel cheap. It's got a controller here, which I'm assuming adjusts the power of the blower. Then it's got the trigger here, which feels really nice. It's got really nice action. It does not feel cheap at all. Not sure we're going to test this out too much in this video. I might have to film another whole video on this thing in action. So that's your adjustment. Turbo button there and your power button. And this just clicks on there like that. Let's have a look at one of these batteries. And then we will... Okay. That's your battery. Again, it's a monster. That's it there. So this has got a charge indicator on the back there. So at the moment it's roughly 40% charged. You can just press that button there and it will tell you what charge level you're at. So we should have some power here. And it's got like a rubbery finish. It's really nice. I like it. Quite heavy. The battery's quite heavy. So let's, let's just plug it in. Where does it plug in? Here. I've just had a bit of a play after I've put the battery in. I've cut that bit out to figure out how these controls work, which is very different than what I expected. So this button here activates maximum power. Like, say, if I just press this button, it works on that power setting regardless of what I do with this. This stays off. Now I can do low power by turning that. So it will just do lower power. And then anytime I want full power, I can override it by pressing the button. While I do that, I can press the turbo button to give it maximum power. So, I can be going along there, blowing. I'll hit the button, and then I'll hit the turbo. That is a little bit odd. I think it's going to take me a little bit to get used to that. Because I would have assumed that you set this up to whatever power level you want and then this trigger here activates that power level but that is not how it works and we'll give it a quick test run for this video and then I think I will do another video on a full test of this actual blower and I will try out the different nozzles and see how it goes so let's charge up the battery have a quick play outside so we'll do that and then I will film another full review video we'll call this one the unboxing and then we'll have a full review of this this unit is definitely worth it I think so let's get charging and let's try it out
Now this was a lot of money to spend, but so far I'm very, very happy with it. Now if you've got any questions about anything you saw in today's video, do me a favour, leave your question down below in the comment section, I'll try and answer it to the best of my ability. If you found the video interesting or useful, give me a big thumbs up, it does help out the channel a lot. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button, it's completely free for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. Thanks for watching and bye for now.